Hello and thank you for joining me today as I provide you with my company profile on Walmart. My name is Martin Modin, a student from the University of Texas Pan American from the class CIS 3198 Section 92L. Let's begin. The first Walmart store opened its doors in 1962 in Rogers, Arkansas, following a dream by a man named Sam Walton to help people in his community save money. Walton had this dream because he was actually a cheap man and he saw it only to be logical to offer the lowest prices in his company. Now Walmart is one of the largest companies in the country with more than 245 million customers visiting Walmart stores each week all around the world. Walmart was founded and has been conducted under the belief that the customer is the most important factor. For this, the company and its employees have established a culture where everyone must work together as a family and create a positive environment to ensure that customers have a pleasant experience. Besides Walmart striving for the lowest prices for the customers, Walmart's goal is to achieve excellence. This means that employees have to learn how to work together in order to better their company and follow any positive or better working model from any other business or company. The company has focused since its opening on helping the customers and the community get the best prices so they, as their logo states, save money and live better. The Walmart company has a $485.5 billion revenue. However, the current market share for Walmart, known as WMT on the stock market, is $73.12 a share and currently holds a positive 0.47%. Meanwhile, Walmart's larger super centers retail a full range of products. This creates some competition between other companies or other players in the game, if you will. Some of these competitors might be dollar stores like Family Dollar Stores known as FDO and Dollar General known as DG in the stock market or some supermarket chains like Whole Foods Market known as WFM in the stock market or Kroger known as KR in the stock market. Since all of these players are ultimately competing with Walmart, they have all tried to increase their grocery segment of their respective companies. However, Within the last five years, Walmart's grocery sales grew in a compound annual growth rate of 3.2% in the 2010-2014 fiscal year. Specifically, grocery sales grew around $156 billion and Sam's Club grew in the grocery and consumable sales in 4.65 in the same period, which in turn makes Walmart the fastest growing category and Sam's Club in the second. The Walmart company has many resources from its 10,000 and 130 stores. But first, I will focus on a concept that is not well known or even acknowledged about Walmart. It's real estate concept. To begin with, the company owns all of the Walmart store. However, it has also created a real estate branch called Walmart Reality. Where soon to be vacated building are either sold or leased to other companies which bring in extra earnings. Walmart has created incredible technology resources. For instance, they have created both their own IT system and their own satellite communication because the company is constantly and quickly expanding countrywide. Therefore, they need an efficient way to communicate with the company store countrywide. Walmart has built many of its strengths throughout the course of its excellent serve. To begin with, it is a well-known and recognized company brand name, which grants them several opportunities that other companies do not. For instance, they are able to receive inventories in large volumes achieving a high economy of sale, which in turn provides the company with the opportunity of providing their customers with extremely low prices that other companies might not be able to provide them. Additionally, as mentioned earlier in the revenue portion about Walmart, the company's IT system is significant to the strength and reasoning behind its incredibly low prices because a company are always able to track their orders and inventory levels in real time, which helps provide effective management that in the end helps provide their customers the lowest prices out there. Unfortunately, there are some disadvantages or weaknesses to the Walmart company. For instance, one of the most controversial hardships that Walmart has faced are lawsuits for unfair employee wages, prospective employees, poor work conditions, low wages, unpaid overtime, work and female discrimination, and also high numbers of employee turnover. The company has also faced other serious hits since it has made an appearance that Walmart often loses large percentage of its customers due to negative press. 
However, Walmart stores are going strong and constantly growing, which makes them an incredible threat for any other playing company. This is all I have for you today. Thank you for your time and have a wonderful day.